the first goal for this year was the support, <coughs> in support of the Canal Street revitalization, the development of a hotel property, priority expressed for the Brandon Center. As you can see here, the city attorney has done some research on the title. There were title questions there. And his recommendation is to hire a specialized outside legal counsel to resolve issues with the state on the title. And actually, what we would be doing is going to the trustees of the Internal Improvement Trust Fund from the state and seeking insurable title. And once that is completed, we then need to go and negotiate a release of the grant conditions with the Florida Inland Navigational District, which has provided quite a bit of funding to that area. So there's several steps, uh, difficult steps, but uh, we hope achievable steps that we'll be working on. Goal number two, revitalization of US-1 and uh, the development of the FEC property. How many people know where the FEC property is? Okay, most people, if you don't, south of Canal Street, west of US-1, 180 acres. Last year, city staff submitted a comprehensive plan amendment for a new industrial mixed-use zone, uh, a transit-oriented design. The amendment was approved. The FEC representatives are now working with us to explore their first phase of development. Also, in January of this year, there was a tour taken of properties in Ormond Beach, Daytona Beach, and South Daytona to talk about uh, US-1 issues and how some other cities are addressing those. There was also a very important meeting in June between the Economic Development Board and the Airport Advisory Board on uh, the US-1 CRA concept. What we're talking about here, New Smyrna Beach has a community <coughs> redevelopment agency that sunsets in three and a half years, in 2015. We're looking at a new CRA. The county is very interested in having a CRA on US-1, countywide. We're interested in that, and building off that common interest, we would like to include the airport, the airport industrial park, uh, Canal Street still, historic west side, and, and perhaps uh, expanding the historic west side area that's in the present CRA, uh, the North Causeway, but uh, an FEC can also be a CRA, so it's an exciting time for uh, looking at that with the sunset of the present CRA. In the uh, present CRA plan, there is a section that calls for uh, partnering with Birdfish to make improvements around the hospital. And the CRA and City Commission feels this is really an important effort and something that we need to focus on. There have been meetings with the interim Birdfish CEO, and we're, we're working towards uh, uh, future partnership <coughs> items. So uh, even though the, the hospital district itself has been granted the last two years an exemption, we're still very interested in partnering to develop the medical district. 